there is an Islamic invasion into our government offices right now, okay? They are, you, you saw after midterm elections, what we saw so many Muslims elected. I don't know, I don't know the exact number, but there were quite a few. What we had that woman out of Minnesota, now she's going into Congress and she's gotta wear a head covering. You know, they wanna put their hand on the Quran and be sworn in, no. You have to be sworn in on the Bible. But we have an Islamic invasion into our government offices. Now, yes, we have, I'll say this, we have freedom of religion in this country that protects anyone to have, you know, have any kind of a religion that they want. And that's, that's great. That's one of our freedoms, right? But I'm sorry, anyone that is a Muslim that believes in Sharia law does not belong in our government. They don't. Let me explain something to you, Mohammed. Let me explain. We already have equality and justice for all Americans. Muslims are not being held back in any way. That's our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, guarantees everyone equality and justice. But what you people want is special treatment. You want to rise above us, and that's what we're against. Yeah, they should stay in their countries and make their countries great again, right? Leave our country alone. Leave it alone. This whole world, this beautiful, beautiful, big, blue ball, planet Earth, it's like a buffet of countries. It's like a buffet. If you want Islam and Sharia law, you stay over there in the Middle East. You stay there and you go to Mecca and do all your thing. And you know what? You can have a whole bunch of wives or goats or sheep or whatever you want. You stay over there. But in America, see, we made it this great, great country. We don't want it messed up.